Well, Gaffer, it's finished 2 1 to Blackburn Rovers today. Um, how proud of you are the players after that performance? Yeah, listen, really proud. You know, I've said we want to be competitive every game we play. We were really competitive today and really disappointing to lose the game. You know, we've come to a team who are top of the league, a uh, very good team, and, you know, we've matched them um, all over the pitch, really, went toe to toe, and really disappointed to, to lose. Yeah. We created several really good opportunities today as well. Thomas Kaminsky is, is man of the match for Rovers. Does that say a lot about our performance as well? Of course it does. Our performance was excellent. You know, after such a tough week, uh, Wednesday night, you know, um, at St Andrews, a very, very tough game. So a long travel yesterday, stuck on the motorway right, six or seven hours, and then the boys turn up today. And you know, their effort was different class. So I'm really disappointed. With two goals. You know, that's not us. We, it's not the way we defend. So I was disappointed in the, way, in the manner we conceded them goals. But it's in full credit. To to the boys, you know, the, the, the full, the full, the starting 11, the, the boys that come off the bench, you know, to make a difference, you know, I thought we were excellent and obviously really disappointed to not to get what, what we needed out of the game. Yeah. Early on, before Blackburn score, actually, we have really good opportunities, don't we? Teeth Chong hits the post, Scotty has a one-on-one -on -one there as well. Mm -hmm. Does that change the game if we get those couple of goals early on? Yeah, absolutely. We started the game really well. You know, I was very pleased with the way we started it. We really imposed ourselves. We had good shape. Um, you know, we had a couple of good chances, but again, you know, the way we defended them two goals isn't us at the moment. You know, so it's something that we'll have to look at and uh, and, and get back to the training ground and, and learn why. Um, but. You know, again, you know, very pleased with the response and and the effort of the of the group. Yeah. Second half, we didn't stop running, created lots of chances. What did you say at half time? Just said more, keep going, keep believing in what we're doing. You know, because I could feel it. At, you know, at half time, there was nothing wrong with that first half performance apart from the two goals. You know, we've come to a, an excellent team and and uh, and done what we wanted to do. Uh, Control the game with them without the possession, uh, with them without the ball. Um, so yeah. I just said to them, keep going, keep believing, we'll get the next goal and it can change the game. Um, then obviously as the game went on, uh, we changed our shape, we're very positive and uh, to get the goal was brilliant and uh, you know, we could have got something out of the game at the end. Yeah. Certainly rolled the dice when it came to changes as well. On came Hannibal, Juki, Troy. Job and, and Jordan Graham as well. And they certainly made a difference, didn't they? Freshening things up. I did, and I've said it's a squad game. You know, I said we got our game plan after an hour. We have a look. You know, we're freshening it up again. You know, the boys have come in. Um, you know, Backer uh, and Hawley today were, were great in midfield. It's what we needed that little bit more energy. So, yeah, listen, everything was good apart from the result today. But um, we're working progress. You know, it, it makes it makes us realise that. You know, we're not a million miles away from the top team in the league. Um, so we just keep working hard and, and see where it takes us. Yeah. Put into words for us just how tough this last week have, has been with the three games, the recovering, the playing, recovering, playing. It's, it's really hard on the players, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is, but that's our jobs. Do you know what I mean? We, there's no excuses. We get on with it. You know, it's a squad game. Everyone gets used. Uh, and that's uh, that's the beauty of, of having the squad that we've got. So, yeah, it's tough on the legs, but, you know, on the mind, they need we need to be strong and we get on with it. We've come to a, a top team in the league and really put a fantastic performance. And so mentally, we're right. We're in a good position, uh, a good place. Um, so, yeah, listen, it, it is the championship. It's what it's all about. We learn from today's game, have a good week's training and, and go up against another top team in the league next week. Absolutely. Uh, just finally, Gaffer, a word on the 2,300 Blues fans that followed us here 500 miles this week going yeah. to Hull and, and at home as well. And they clapped those players off today like they'd won the game. They really did um, a word for them as well. Yeah, brilliant. Listen, we really appreciate it. You know, um, <clears throat> Uh, the one thing I said, I want to make the, 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 the fans very proud of this team. And I think today we, we made them proud, you know, and the, and the way they supported us throughout that second half was, was fantastic. And, you know, I promise you this group of players, every time they put that blue shirt on, we'll, we'll try and please them and we'll be 100% uh, committed, you know, and we'll fight to the end. And, you know, that's what we did today. Unfortunately, we didn't get the result, but, you know, our attitudes were very good. And, you know, we're trying to build a team, a squad of players who... who are ready to go anywhere and, and do the fans proud and you know there's still a lot of hard work ahead of course but you know we're on the right path yes we are thank you for your time gaffer thank you